What's up YouTube, it's the Prince of ATP 101 and in this video I'm going to show you guys another 20 tweaks that works with iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak. So if you already jailbroke your phone, then you're all set. I also have another video, the first video I made linked at the end of this video in the top right corner and also the jailbreak video in the bottom right corner. So yeah, let's go. The first one is called Bottom Control X. Bottom Control X is basically this right here. So I could get to my control center from the bottom. I don't have to swipe all the way from the top right. I could do that from the bottom. Just like that. And it goes away. If I go from the left, the left is nothing. And it basically left and right brings me home. But if I go to settings, I go to settings, I could go right here. And you could set it up however you want. So if I tap, hold up. So I could set it up just like that. So the bottom right is control center. The bottom center is the go home gesture and the bottom left is the go home gesture. So I could switch it to lock my device. So if I go to the bottom left, my device lock just like that. Just like that. So that's called bottom control X. Just gives you those gestures right at the bottom of your screen. And the other one is called circle icons. If I go to settings, you can see all the little dots over here. Everything is in circle. So that's called circle icons. The other one is called cuttlefish. Cuttlefish is basically this tweak right here. Whenever you force touch on the app, the background gets that color. So you see it's kind of red. If I go here, it'll be blue. And if I do this one, it'll be kind of green. So yeah, that one is called cuttlefish. And the other one is called cylinder. Cylinder is this right here. Every time I switch pages, it gives this nice effect. You go to settings. Go to settings, you can find it right over there. Cylinder. You could go to effect. And you could actually switch it around. So the one I have right now is called curl and roll away. So let's go switch it to that one. Turn that one off. Now you can see the difference. just like that. So that one is called cylinder and the other one is called X key. X key is this right here. You see I have an extra row of keys right above my regular keyboard so I have the numbers up there so I don't have to hit the number to get to it. It's just right there and that one is called X key and the other one is called easy respring. Easy respring is if I go to the control center I have a respring button right there. So if I want to respring my device I just tap that and the device will respring and then the other one is called silo silo is basically a tweet that lets you rearrange your whole control center just like this i could move everything around so if i go to settings go back go back scroll all the way up to control center now you can see everything i could move everything around so i could bring that down and i could switch it up and i could have it however i want it and that one is called silo and the other one is called sugarcane sugarcane is another control center tweak as you can see right here i have the percentage right in the volume and also the brightness so if i turn the volume all the way up you can see the percentage change right down there at the bottom so that's what sugarcane does it just change the percentage in your control center to tell you the exact percentage of your battery or your not your battery but your brightness and your volume the other one is called glacier another control center tweak this look right here that's done with Glacier. You see everything just looks like white and it's just like transparent. That's done with Glacier. Just download it and you're good. And another control center tweak is called Easy City. Easy City Opener. If I tap right here, it'll bring me right to City. Just like that. So, yeah. And the other one is called Haptic Keyboard. Haptic Keyboard is if I go, hold on, let's go to my messages. Go to my messages real quick. Start a new message. I'll go right here. Every time you tap on a, a letter or a number, you feel like a little haptic keyboard, like haptic feedback right there. It feels real nice. I'm keeping this one. It just feels real nice to get that haptic feedback whenever you hit a key. So yeah, that one is called Haptic Keyboard. And the other one is called Real CC. Real CC is this right here. Basically, when on iOS 11, when you turn off your Wi-Fi, it wouldn't actually turn off. It would just disable it, and then it would turn on automatically. But now, you can see, it's 
off. So when I hit off, it turns it off like it used to in iOS 10. Love this feature. So once off, it's off, and you can turn it back on, just like with any other one of these airplane mode and everything. It just works. And that one is called Real CC, and the other one is called SS Clear All Chat. SS Clear All Chat basically lets you delete all your message from Snapchat. So if I go right here, and I go to scroll down to Clear Conversation. You can see right there I have clear all button in the top right corner. I tap on that and all the messages will be cleared. And I, I love that feature. You know what I mean? I hate going there and deleting one message at a time. So if you want to speed that up, clear all and you'll be fine. And the other one is called Face Down. Face Down is a cool tweet that lets you turn off your phone soon as you I mean it puts your phone to sleep soon as you put it down. So let's turn on the volume so you could hear just like that. You hear that lock sound? As soon as I flip my phone over, it automatically turns off. And then the other one is called Tweak Compatible. Tweak Compatible is a tweak for Cydia. So if I tap on a on a tweak, you can see right down here, it will tell me it's working. Or if it's not working, it says iOS 11.3.1 working. So this tweak is definitely, definitely working and it might be in my next video. For new tweaks but for now yeah that one is called tweak compatible great tweak and the other one is called status folder status folder is this right here whenever i open up a folder i still see my status bar usually you open up a folder it would just be the folder but now i still see my status bar i still see my date i still see my time all that kind of stuff so yeah that one is called status folder and the other one is called cc music art cc music art that means if i go to play a music and for some reason with this jailbreak Spotify doesn't work like it used to look at that you see how long it's taking to open I'll probably have to kill it tap on Spotify again and then it might work now so that's one of the problems with it it just that's really crazy African, African, African. so let's turn that all the way down and now you can see with CC Music Art, you can see the art in that little music session in your control center. So, yeah, that one is called CC Music Art. And the other one is called Swipe Selection. Swipe Selection is basically, if I go to search and I type something in, I could basically use the keyboard as a cursor. Just like that. So that one is called Swipe Selection. Must have a tweak. And then the other one is called No More App Bar. No More App Bar is for the text section. So basically, if I go here and I go to send a text, now I don't have that, like the app bar that shows me all the apps and all that kind of stuff at the bottom of the keyboard. That's all gone. It just gets rid of that. No more app suggestions and none of that. If you want to get rid of that, that's how you do it. Just get no more app bar. And another one is called no more small apps. No more small apps basically lets you any app that's not supported on iOS on the new iPhone 10 screen, like the ones that are short, it just fills up the whole screen just like this. This app it wasn't supported, but after I download that, now it just fills up the whole screen. It looks like it was definitely made for the iPhone 10. So yeah and another one I want to show you guys this is an extra one this one is called date under time date under time if you can look right up here in the top you can see I have the time under on the date under the time just like that so that's what this tweet does it just basically gives you that option right there usually it would just be the time but now you can put the date under there so there you go guys that's over that's about 21 tweaks right there and there's a lot more to come and in fact I'll put some videos in the description of all the other tweets because these tweets that I'm showing you guys basically just came from the ones from iOS 11.1.2. Nothing different. Most of those tweaks, 90% of those tweaks work. Everyone I've tried work. So I just put those videos. I made over 200 plus tweaks. I just have the both of my 200 tweet videos linked in the description. You guys could go there and test them out and see which one works because I don't want to make the same videos I made two months ago over again because there's a new jailbreak I'm just giving you guys these to run with but I'm gonna put those in the description 
you guys go watch those videos and see all the list and go through and see what you like the new the tweet videos that I've been making probably in the next couple of days it's probably gonna be new tweaks so if there's a new tweet that's out comment that new tweak let me know and I'll put it in a video so a lot more people could see it so I just want to make new tweet videos I don't want to keep repeating these same tweaks we all know these tweaks but I just want to give you guys these to run with off the rip so if you guys got a new tweak let me know in the comment section and I'll definitely test it out it's Prince with ATP 101 rate comment subscribe turn notification on peace thanks for watching